Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Ellie Gear got in touch and asked if I wanted to try their cooling blankets, cooling pillowcase. I was really interested because I think it's really only in the summer for me when you do actually feel that you're too hot when you're sleeping. But there'll be other people, and you hear it all the time, and they say that during the night they're always roasting hot. Other people talk about reasons, maybe again they're not feeling too good, they've got no aircon. We don't really have aircon in the UK. I think um, the reason why we don't have it is there's really no need. There's maybe like a couple of weeks of the year when you say we need aircon and then it's gone. But not everyone can have it where they live. Not everyone can afford it. It could break down. So there are quite a few reasons why you might be interested in cooling blankets, cooling pillowcases. So because of that, and because again, there are so many people that I work with that do actually say that they've got issues with overheating when they're sleeping, I said, yeah, I do actually think we could chat about this. So let's have a look at what's behind this concept of cooling you down as you sleep. So I thought this was worth us chatting about on the channel because so often people will say, should I get massages because I can't sleep at night? Or what do you suggest as a product? Or would a facial help my tired eyes because I get night sweats and it's too hot and I can't sleep and I'm kicking the duvet off and then I don't get to sleep and then I feel absolutely exhausted the next day. So I thought, yeah, this actually does tie in with what we do on the channel. And when you're doing treatments, you're doing them to relax yourself. And ultimately, what do we want with relaxation? To feel good to feel relaxed and to have a good sleep. So it is almost like a full cycle. So I thought it was interesting, how do they work and why do they work? So they say it's because a lot of people, it is night sweats that they suffer from and it's for a variety of reasons. So obviously night sweats if the room's too hot, you're gonna get night sweats if your bedding's too heavy and you're just sweltering under the heat of the duvet. But then if you kick the duvet off, you might then be too cool. So you, you need something. Um, also, obviously, there's d disorders, there's menopause, there's hormone imbalances of all sorts. There's um, thyroid can do it. Um, it can be how your body runs, what your temperature is. Some people just say they're always roasting at night. Other people are always freezing at night. So everyone is so different. If you don't have good circulation in the room. But I think that the main one is, again, all this is good and well, but how do you cool down? So basically, it's technology that absorbs the heat from the skin on contact. And it, I think that's quite useful to know that that's what it basically boils down to. You're too hot, it absorbs the heat, so it keeps you cool. And what they say is that it will help you to maintain not a low body temperature, but just slightly lower because when it's a nice temperature that's not too warm, that will enhance your relaxation and help you go to sleep. And if you are relaxed enough and at the right cooler temperature to go to sleep, it'll be a good quality sleep. And that means that they've done their job. So you won't be sweating, you won't be waking and up and unable to get back to sleep. You won't be doing that thing, you know, where people just use whatever's to hand, if it's newspapers or magazines or anything, just trying to cool themselves down. So this is taking that away for you. It's also quite useful to know that they say if for any reason you couldn't get access to aircon and your aircon broke down, this in conjunction with a fan in the room would be enough to substitute that aircon. How good is that to know? It might be beneficial too if you are having guests and it's the summer or maybe you've got an Airbnb, you rent places out and you don't have aircon but you actually think, you know what, we'll have some of these so that however the temperature is, those guests have got something that they can access. You can have throws if it's too cold and you can have these if it's too warm. Also on a practical level too, I don't know what it's like for you, but here in the UK, the prices of energy are going up at scary, scary prices very quickly. So this also might be something if you are seriously looking at watching your costs so if you don't want or can't run aircon or fans all the time, this could be a more economical way to actually make sure that you're still comfortable and still cool, but you're not worrying about your electricity prices. So that's another reason why I thought it could actually be beneficial just to let you take a look at this. 
So all I have to do now is just unbox these. So let's do that together and I'll tell you exactly what I think and if it actually really is cool to the touch. Right, here we are, we've got the cooling pillowcase, we've got the cooling blanket and you can't really see the words here, but this is the cooling comforter. So I'll move these to the back. So I just wanted to be truthful with you and open them on camera so that we can see your first impressions basically. So the surface is nylon and the polyethylene and the back is 100% cotton. And from what I was reading on the website, it's the cotton as well that can help contribute to the coolness. And um, it's got this on all of them, the cool touch technology, and it's basically explaining that the, the body heat is absorbed by the material. So I quite like it when they're like this, you know, when it's the Ziploc, because it's a little bit more convenient to reuse again. Everyone's being so mindful about can you repurpose your packaging? And it means that you could put them back in here and zip lock it when you're not using it. Okay, I'll move that out of the way. Right, first impressions. I touch this and it feels cool. Do you know what it reminds me of? A nice cotton t-shirt. And yeah, I touch it and it feels cool. That's nice. That, you know, um, <laughs> there's that funny phrase, uh, as cool as the other side of the pillow. You know, when it's really hot and you flip the pillow and it goes cool again, it feels like you've just flipped your pillow. <laughs> That's funny. That sounds like it's a, a phrase, flipped your pillow. Um, there's a returns policy. That's quite good to know that they're up front with that. So hopefully you won't need to return it, but that's good to know. And obviously we've got some packing material in here. Yeah, that honestly, that feels like a very nice, soft cotton t-shirt. And I can imagine to you, that's how it looks on camera. It, it is very cool to the touch. That's clever. Well, clearly they know what they're talking about. So that is the pillows. And look, it's got that nice little, it's got the little label. So yes, I can actually, and it just, the quality just feels so smooth. And I know quite a lot of people who are very fussy with their uh, t-shirt purchases. And that's the kind of thing that I can imagine them feeling it and going, yeah, I'll buy that. That, I can imagine as well you'd get a really nice sleep on that because of how soft it is. That's nice. Right, let's go for the blanket. So I'll just open the box up here. So there's our cooling blanket. It's got a good weight to it. And the box again just tells you about um, absorbing the heat and how it works. Now it does also say you can gentle wash up to 30 degrees. Do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean, hang in the shade. So again, they're very precise about how to look after it. That is good to know because um, when it comes to your bedding, you don't want to invest in this and then find out that um, you shouldn't have done something in your washing and drying routine. I think these would be a very nice gift for someone, again, that you know likes nice quality products. If they do like soft t-shirts and things like that, Think about it, you're not going to get any softer than this for sleeping on. Again, that's it just feels cool. Do you know what it feels like I want to do? It feels like I want to just wrap my hand in it. That is on par. <laughs> do you like that? Yeah, just wrap my hand in it. That is on par with um, if you put it in the fridge. That's how cool it feels. It feels as if it's been chilled down. It feels... It's all the words that come with uh, feeling a wee bit too warm it feels cooling I would imagine in the heat it would feel refreshing it just feels see I'm not even particularly hot just now and all I want to do is just feel the coolness and it just it feels smooth it feels it's not silk but it feels silky and everywhere I move my hands just feels like a brand new fresh coolness quite a nice finish to it as well that is very clever. I know this won't be new, but it's new to me. But yeah, I could just keep doing this. Just keep going over it and it just feels cool. That is lovely. There's no part. See, I just want to keep doing that. Oh, it's cool. You know when you're too hot and you will put your hand, like you put it under the pillow, just so you can get this new patch of coolness. That's what it feels like. That is nice. 
and then finally the comforter so let's get this unboxed and again your your packaging is similar again it tells you all the information do you like how on the front they've got the guys walking up in the snow just so that you know it's cooling right get this out that's how it looks so it tells you always feel cool and sleep well and it says after washing please fat, fatten flatten the pleats and dry do not tumble dry and it says it's a double-sided design now remember what we said as well one side cooler one side warmer soft and cozy breathable moisture wicking I, I don't actually know what that means maybe it means it's absorbing it um, skin friendly hypoallergenic thermal regulation so again let's see let's get this open and it's another one because obviously it's the same collection just instant coolness We just roll that worked very well didn't it so this is more of a throw what's it got here again that's good to know that's the returns policy and the washing information so i get what they mean now both sides one side will be warmer one side will be cooler but the other thing too oh yeah that you can tell the difference but they've said that you can flip it and it works on both sides so one side won't look as if it's inside out now this is clever this feels really cool this side and this is the other side and that feels I mean it doesn't feel warm but it doesn't feel it's not got the cool technology on it so this feels if I just hold my hand like this so you've got this side and this side if I do this this side feels like I can very quickly build up a heat and this side just feels cool so that's clever so that must be the warmer side and that's the cooler side and yeah just by holding both I can feel actually that one feels warmer that one feels cooler so to me then it does what it says they are putting their money where their mouth is and it definitely is a cooling blanket so i think so long as you follow the instructions look after it and maintain it well it's finished very well i can't see why you would have any issues with that even if you don't get particularly warm during the night i'm thinking now this could be great for those days when you're maybe just feeling a bit under the weather but you maybe are feeling a little bit cool so you want your blanket to keep you warm but then you get those other times when you're feeling a bit warm and you want your blanket to keep you cool it's a bit of innovation that was new to me it might not be new to you but it's new to me i think it's very clever so i'd like to thank them again for allowing me to try this as i say it was gifted but not sponsored i'll leave all the information in the description box have a great day and i'll see you again soon